Welcome back to Edition Kitchen, y'all. It's my bad. I've been taking, you know, a little time. But um, I'm back, and today we are going to be making a seafood pot pie. At first, I was thinking chicken, and then I was like, nah, I need some seafood in my life. I've never made one before, so we're going to play with some ingredients, see how well it comes out, and then we'll chat over some food. Okay, so I have here my ingredients. What I have here is 12 ounces of medium shrimp. What I did was I coated it lightly with some olive oil, some Cajun and Creole spice. I have one pound of base scallops. I would have preferred large, but they didn't have any. I have one large shallot, some thyme, some mixed vegetables, some puff pastry, pie crust, heavy cream, white wine, olive oil, chicken stock, salt, pepper, and butter. Okay, so now I have my pan on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna add some butter, a little olive oil. Now I'm gonna add the shrimp. And we don't wanna cook these all the way through. We just wanna cook them a little. Okay, so now I'm just gonna remove my shrimp now that they're opaque. So now we're going to add in our shallot. To this shallot, I'm going to add some salt, some pepper. Add some thyme in here for one of the best parts, our white wine. Just want to deglaze this a little bit let this one cook down and then we'll add our stock and our heavy cream okay so now I'm gonna add some heavy cream I'm going to add some mixed vegetables now usually in a pot pie you would have potatoes I'm trying to do a little bit better so I am NOT going to add potatoes but definitely you can add your potatoes. So I'm just gonna let this cook down a bit. So now that the chicken stock and the white one and the heavy cream has come to a boil, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the slap your mama in here. Just wanna give it that spice, some Creole seasoning. So now that the chicken stock and the white wine and the heavy cream is like boiling and it's getting all thick, I can just, oh my gosh, if you guys could just smell this. What I'm going to do now is add my scallops. It's a lot of seafood. The shrimp. Let this bubble up a little bit. Look how thick and creamy this is. Oh my goodness. This smells like everything. Let me just grab my tester spoon. Actually, let me take this piece of thyme out first. Fish this out because it served its purpose. Got my tester spoon for flavor. Mmm. Oh yeah. So I turned the stove off and the next thing we are going to be doing is filling these babies. So what I did was I filled up a little baby pot pie and then this is the second one. Um, I also pre-baked the crust because I don't really like it raw and doughy on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this crust. So now I'm just going to lay my puff pastry into the pan and I'm 
just gonna tuck it in a little bit. I don't wanna cut it. So that's so now I just wanna poke. some holes in the crust and I got you gotta be quick with this because it's full of butter and it won't rise the way it's supposed to so I'm gonna just hurry up and egg wash this really quick and throw this in and then this wiggle on the other one okay so I just took this baby out of the oven and the smaller one is not done yet. I don't know. Maybe it's because the puff paste sheet is like tucked inside the dish. But this smells amazing. I am going to plate and we are going to start eating. All right, y'all. So the food is done and I'm about to dig in. So before I let y'all know how this delicious goodness tastes, because I, I don't think you guys can see. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So, mm. okay, because y'all know words. I'm just gonna say that. The shrimp, savory, scallops, sweet, flavors on point. Okay, this is good. Oh my goodness, this is, this is amazing, y'all. This is amazing. Ah, mm. It's just good. So the combination of the Cajun and the Creole spice, because they are two different things. A bomb. Okay. Then you got your wine. Then you got your stock. Then you got your cream. Like it's just so good. Like it's man, listen. If your partner don't like chocolate for Valentine's Day, get up on this. If they don't like crustaceans or if they're allergic use some chicken i don't know but this is this is bomb mm. if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit the like button leave me a comment you know communicate with me i'm here you know i'm here I'm, you know, that's what i do i'm here i help out i, 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 I can use some help you know this is bomb this is bomb. And I got two. So you know what that means, right? I'm gonna have some for now. I'm gonna have some for later. Don't call me, don't hit me up. Because by the time this video shows, it's gonna be gone. Don't be calling my phone. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ask me for this. I, I don't think I'm kind of glad I used the base scallops because I'm getting scallop in every bite because it's so much freaking seafood in here. And it's not overcooked. It's not. Mm. Mm. Thank you for rocking out with Edition Kitchen. Peace.